it pained me to even look at my tattoo for a good little minute like every time i looked at it it brought me pain walking brought me pain i was just going through it okay so hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is kendra and you're watching k p cam definitely go ahead and subscribe because I never reference my new people so hey so I feel like I look a mess yet again well just as I thought trash if you go reference my other tattoo videos they do very well and I just feel like I always look a mess I'm always rambling so with this video I'm gonna put in the effort needed to really get my point across really to get the information out there y'all because honestly this is very important okay i was gonna do a vlog style of this video y'all and i do have the footage and everything but though my raw feelings are valid i just feel like i really need to explain everything so with that being said y'all just stay tuned i'm going to give it to you like a story time and that's just right here okay y'all so let me go ahead and show you the tattoo i know y'all been waiting so here is what it looks like it's super duper cute i love it so much it's probably like my favorite tattoo right now um and y'all this is what i this is what i came in wanting like this was my ideal of what i wanted to get don't always think you're gonna come get a tattoo it's gonna look exactly like the stuff that you asked for you might not have the best idea of what's gonna work you gotta be realistic as you can see i'm a darker girl so the reason why i didn't get the same colors or the same stuff is because i'm black some colors just wouldn't show up for me even though y'all i think that's a lie for the people that's lazy and don't watch the whole video i'm just gonna run down the facts okay so everybody want to know did it hurt yes honey it hurt like heck i'm gonna put it in two parts so the first part was the outline, and I'm gonna say that was a three out of 10. And then I'm gonna say the shading was a nine out of 10. Sensitive areas close to like my butt hurt, close to like my inner thigh hurt, and close to like getting closer and closer to my knee, like at the bottom, hurt the most. So time I sat on that table for almost three hours in 30 minutes, okay? I lay down on my side and I had one leg up and I had the other leg straightened. I wore shorts and bathing suit bottom thinking that, you know, maybe I would have had to do, I don't know, I don't know. I, I, I just wore that thinking, you know, worst case scenario, this something I have to do to get it done. I just pulled my shorts up. Yeah. Healing process, it took about three to four weeks. I feel like my tattoo low key is still healing to this day because the skin around it is still looking dark and bruised. So I don't even think it's fully healed yet. But as for like the peeling process and all that, it took three to four weeks. The price, y'all, I paid too much. Maybe I didn't, but y'all, it was just not what I expected. And I got there and it took four hours and she charged me per hour and some change so i paid 450 which is the most i've ever paid on a tattoo ever in my life would i ever do it again i don't know and here is what it looks like when it was first done it was bleeding like heck and i was in pain but we're gonna get into that okay y'all so now that i've finished the facts let's just go ahead and get into the vlog okay y'all so i know this might be weird but i'm just gonna go ahead and talk through the footage because y'all just didn't know really what's good okay so let's just go ahead and get right into it so y'all i woke up this saturday morning rise and shine and i was like really nervous y'all i was nervous the night before i even went on live i was like y'all i'm so nervous i'm so nervous 
I woke up that morning, everything was smooth, and then I started watching videos, y'all. I started watching videos of numbing cream. So weeks before my tattoo, y'all, I went on Amazon. I was like, okay, let me give me some numbing cream because whatever I can do to make this process easier. And I had seen videos, y'all. I had seen videos that the lady was like, she got like this full side dragon piece, like something huge. And she was like, oh, like it was a breeze. I could barely feel anything. This, 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 this. And I was like, oh my gosh. That needs to be me. Like, that needs to be me. Like, I can do this if I can just walk up in here and not feel nothing, sis. And I cannot feel pain. So, I was so confident. Like, I got that number cream and I was ready. I had my plan set. And I literally woke up that morning, started watching videos, and every video I saw about the particular brand that I bought, Uber Numb, literally was saying that it doesn't work. Every video I watched said it don't work. And I was like, oh my God. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is not the time, this is not the place. Like, I just really cannot run my head around that. But it's whatever. I was like, I'm gonna still try it because, nevertheless, we're gonna figure it out. So, I got ready, I put the numbing cream on, y'all. So, I had to put it on a good time into where it was on there for like an hour. I put it on thick. Like, I think I almost used the whole jar trying to put it on my entire thigh. I ain't want to miss not one piece. And I put like little plastic bags because we ain't had no saran wrap. So I had my leg taped up, got in my car, and I was gone. I am so scared. Like, I described to her what I wanted, but I don't think she know how big I want it. I'm just praying I'm not sitting on the table too long, y'all. Hopefully, if wiping this stuff off my leg i want to so we didn't have no saran wrap so i had to i had to make it work with the plastic bag child and i tried to tape it i know i should have told her i did this but i didn't so we're just gonna pray that my skin don't act crazy and i just brought a towel to wipe all of it off 1101 i'm on time baby Went up in the house and I thought I was ready to get my tattoo, but no ma'am. I was sitting down waiting. And y'all, I was sitting down for maybe like 20, 30 minutes. Like I was sitting down for a minute waiting because she still had a client that she was doing. So I'm like, okay, this is going to be a minute. Like I'm going to be here for a good little minute. So then... I, she finally finished with the girl and I was like, okay, it's my turn. I'm up next. Then she was like, you know, I'm actually like starving. So can I eat real quick? And I'm like, oh, I don't want the girl to pass out. So let me let her go ahead and get her food or whatever. Then, uh, you know, this is why a lot of tattoo artists ask for consultation. Because honestly, I would prefer if she had my sketch already done. But instead, like, she literally was like, what did you want again? And I had to pull up what I wanted. So this was, like, nowhere in her brain. She had not prepared this, like, at all. No ideas. None of that. So she just went ahead and Googled some images, redrew it on her iPad. And, y'all, that took about 45 minutes. It took her 45 minutes to draw it up. And I'm like, oh my gosh. But I was like, nevertheless, I'm here. I'm getting it done. Y'all, it's just like when you determine to get something, it's like you're going to get it done regardless. And that is just how I felt. We finally get started. And she's doing the outline. And I'm like, okay. It's not bad. In the back of my head, I'm like, maybe it's a number cream. I don't know. But y'all, I promise y'all, sometimes it's just mine never matter. Like, it's not always about you know whether it really hurts or not it's whether you think it hurts or not so it might have been in me thinking that the number cream was gonna work i don't know i, I can't really tell y'all because i just know when in the moment i felt like the outline wasn't that bad like i was chilling i was laying down i wasn't asleep but i was definitely resting okay so we got the outline done like the outline was done we took a little break um but when I looked at it, it was swelling, like, it was swelling bad. 
like really bad but if you've seen my other videos i'll put i'll link it right here i usually get bad swelling after my tattoo but i think y'all and I, at this point i know it was the numbing cream that amplified my swelling to another level okay but i came to get it in color so though my skin was on 10 I still needed to get this coloring and this shading. So she proceeds to tell me like, you know, this part is gonna hurt. That didn't help at all. I believed her, I really did believe her, but I didn't think it was gonna be this bad. Like y'all, this shading, coloring, everyone call it, I'm gonna call it shading, was so bad so if you don't know like shading they use like i think it's like three needles thick or something like that but it's like a thicker needle so it covers more ground i'm gonna give y'all a reference let's do this so when you draw with a pencil it's very thin lines or let's say even with a pen it's thin lines you make these sharp crisp lines that is the outline with one needle you do the shading let's say you use a crayon or a marker it can cover more of the surface at a time but as you know when you're coloring when you do one stroke it's pretty thin the color doesn't come out the greatest so you keep going you keep going like this you keep going like this that is what she was doing on my freaking skin with a needle <laughs> and i was okay at first i was okay but y'all gotta think i have been laying there for two hours a hour into the shading was my breaking point it was my breaking point i felt like i couldn't take it no more i was just sitting there just trying to hold it together. I mean, y'all, think about it. What do you do? Run. What do you do? If I tell her to stop, I'm just gonna be sitting there trying to catch a breath and then we're gonna do it again because it's gotta be done. It's gotta get done. It's gotta get done. But at a certain point, y'all, I promise y'all, my skin just went raw. It felt like she was cutting me, like literally cutting me. She did not lift that needle like she was doing with that outline. Oh my gosh, y'all. I just, I've never been in pain like that ever in my life. It was traumatizing. Like, I promise y'all the last hour, I thought I was out for the count. Like, I just really thought I wasn't gonna be able to do it. But then again, like I said, I'm a quiet client and I never really speak up about how I'm feeling. That's just the type of client that I am. So I'm just down there dying. Like. I don't know what I was thinking. I just kept on saying, it's gotta be almost done. It's gotta be almost done. It gotta be almost done. And like, it was a couple times where her mom came in and was like, oh, like you almost finished because the next client was there waiting. So she's like, yeah, I'm almost done. I'm like, oh my God. Thank the Lord Jesus. And, that, and everybody that walked in and looked at my tattoo kept on saying like, damn! Like, ooh. I know it hurts. So throughout my process, y'all, I was just breathing deeply. Um, unlike like my tattoos that's up here, I can breathe normally. I don't really have to hold my breath, but I still kind of like hold my breath when she put the needle in. Like it's kind of like breathing in when she's actually tattooing and then breathing out when she done. Um, every time she put the needle down, this might sound weird y'all, but I was tapping my foot inside my shoes. Like, not like, going like this with my foot, but I was like putting my toes like this. I don't know y'all, I, I was doing anything I could do to like get through it y'all. Like I said, I was there for four hours straight. I was actually there for probably like five hours because it didn't even get started until like an hour into my actual appointment and she did not finish until like three hours of some change. And I promise y'all that last hour was the death of me. Like that part, was traumatizing it was traumatizing what happened it was the most traumatic experience of my life then she kept on rubbing like with the alcohol and oh my gosh i, I think that almost hurt worse than like the actual tattooing because 
it's just like an open wound you know with the color the color gets everywhere so you have to keep rubbing it rubbing it rubbing it so she can see what she's doing okay so after everything was finally done she told me i could finally get up you know take the little instagram pictures and she didn't post my pictures i think she didn't post mine because either she thinks she didn't do a good job or my legs just looked a mess and it probably did look a mess how swollen it was but whatever i'm like what's the damage how much do i owe you and she started calculating child and i'm like excuse me now she bring out a calculator what's she about to charge me because we already and this is just something i do i always ask how much do i owe even though most times i already negotiated or was told the price that i owe but i always just ask to make sure how much does this pretty cost because she told me 150 and i got there she started calculating the hours and was like basically charged me a hundred dollars an hour so she charged me like four or something and y'all everything in me was like i should leave over with because i'm ready to get the fuck asap after this shit and be like no i literally didn't have enough cash okay because i took out cash i didn't have enough cash and i was over my daily limit like i wouldn't even i wasn't even able to pay her the whole amount with like cash app or something because it was over my daily spending so i gave her my hundred and i did the rest on zale child I couldn't just walk out okay i couldn't just walk out so this is the last part of it uh, i know it's getting long but this is my this is my full experience so let's just talk about after i got the tattoo done so everything is done i leave i'm like turnt like i finally got it done but y'all i was in pain like my leg wasn't necessarily throbbing but i think like the blood seeping into like basically the cut was like bothering me y'all it was low-key burning like it was it was still hurting after the fact it was super swollen like it just wasn't giving at all i got in the car i had it wrapped up i tried to go in the store y'all i was limping like the swelling was so bad that i was limping okay and to give you a perspective i wasn't limping because like it was something going on in my leg i don't know how to explain it. you constantly move your thigh muscle to walk to walk honey um i got in the car and i just started putting out my raw emotions y'all because i just needed to like get off my chest in the moment of how i was feeling and i'm glad i did because y'all i remember but i don't remember Whew, jesus hold up y'all because i was running but um overall i get a pain that's that don't hurt i'm trying not to curse because that's how in pain i am but yeah that don't hurt that hurt that don't hurt bad okay the actual tattoo was given raw but like what low-key hurt more than the tattoo was her rubbing the color off it's like when you when you got a runny nose and it just keep on running, keep on running. You feel like you gotta wipe your nose every five seconds, and like it gets to a point where your upper lip is just raw and burnt. That's what it was given. I just feel like I got cut, and now I'm just got a big gash in my leg. Jesus. So yeah. As you can see, like, I was just going through it. When I finally got home, I was like, okay, let's take something to, you know, take the edge off the pain. <sighs> I don't think we even had Tylenol or nothing here. And the only thing we had was aspirin. And if you know, you know, but I did not know. Um, I mean, I knew that aspirin was a blood thinner, but, like, I didn't think it was going to affect me. I was just looking for a painkiller. That's what I needed. I needed painkiller, but no. I took the aspirin, y'all, and I Googled it, and aspirin literally makes your skin swell more. It makes your skin swell more. Don't ever play yourself. Congratulations. You played yourself. As if my leg wasn't busting out like 
Oh my gosh, the swelling was already bad. I took an aspirin, it made it worse. It made it so much worse, y'all. And like at the beginning, like it was too early to be trying to put ice and all this type of stuff. So eventually I just took the bandages off that night. And I just tried to like give it some air child. And I was fanning it because it was burning. Like I was fanning it all the time because it was burning. So after like, I wanna say like, two days three days mind y'all i went on saturday so i had to go to work on monday and like y'all when i go to work i have to wear pants i cannot wear shorts and honestly even if i wore shorts it wouldn't do anything because literally in the house when i was wearing shorts i was pulling it up to my waist so that like the whole entire tattoo was showing and getting air y'all can kind of see it in my last video but i ain't want to show y'all what it was really looking like um but like the third day the second to third day y'all that thing started peeling up and i don't mean like oh like it was a little skin coming up on the side no this thing was peeling like like i don't know like a snake out of its skin like it was peeling so fast it's actually cringy to talk about i was getting nervous i thought something was going on i thought maybe it was going bad there was a couple pieces and i'll try to show y'all but like it was like white and i was like maybe it's a tattoo blowout and like she was going in too deep like i was just thinking the worst y'all i was thinking my skin was rejecting the ink because if you most red inks are like common for your body to reject like i'm gonna lie i was scared like i was scared that this healing process was not going right and i googled and i googled and i googled and everything was saying mixed things and it just ink rejection kind of looks like just dry peeling and y'all my tattoo was so freaking dry and that's another thing i was really nervous that i was drying it out too much because i had to wear pants all day my tattoo was so dry so that the peeling process was going too fast for it to heal properly and that thing peeled and then it was it went through like a second peeling process probably after like the fifth day where it was just like little bitty pieces that like you know was i could tell it wasn't like fully smooth like right now when i wear my tattoo it don't even feel like it's there there's nothing raised it's, it's just smooth so i had to get to a point where it was no dead skin no dead skin no scaling over none of that that's why i say it took like three to four weeks so itching really wasn't a problem y'all because it just peels so fast itching really wasn't wasn't a factor y'all i want to say it was like five inches around where the actual tattoo was that literally was beat up bruised busted up swollen like i mean way out from my actual tattoo so i was limping for at least like a week and a half maybe i was limping y'all i i was like moving slow so slow like almost like picking up my leg as if it didn't work or something like it Hurts. You tripping, bro? You tripping? <laughs> so yeah, that is my tattoo experience. Will I do it again? Probably. If you haven't learned from anything that I've said, do your appointments in two sessions. Do not do the outline and the coloring at the same time. If you're getting just black shading, yes, you could do it. But anything close to my size you need to do two sessions i wanted it done right then and there that is why i booked it all at one time she should have told me no like other places i know they would have told me no 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 especially after they seen my outline look so swollen they would have said no you're gonna have to come back I think because she is a newer, a newer artist, she did not think about this. I don't even think she was thinking about my tattoo, period. Like I told y'all, she, did, she didn't even know what I came in there for until I got there. So, we made it do what it do. I just know mine was traumatizing. It kind of, it pained me to even look at my tattoo for a good little minute. Like, every time I looked at it, it brought me pain. Walking brought me pain. <laughs> 
I was just going through it for a good little couple weeks, okay? Okay, so yeah, y'all, that is my story. Um, yes, I will say it a million times. It was very traumatizing. Bitch, my generation gets traumatized for breakfast. Um, I will be doing a tattoo tag soon. I do plan on getting one more tattoo and then I do a tattoo tag and I'll show y'all all my tattoos and their meanings and all that jazz um in another video but i do love my tattoo um i hope y'all enjoyed this video comment down below if you're thinking about getting a thigh tattoo or a new tattoo soon thanks for tuning in and listening to my story i really really appreciate it please like this video if you thought it was helpful as well as follow me on all my social media platforms forms okay everything is linked down in the description below if you have any questions feel free to comment them in the comment section below as well and without further ado i will see you guys in the next one do sis